it's me, Cry the Cool Duck. And it's your boy, Robot Ninja Ryan. And we are playing a little educational game. Since you know it's Black History Month, we're going to be celebrating that, and we'll kind of explain how this game works in a second. Bam, 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 Cry the Cool Duck. Bam, 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 the Cool Duck. Yes, I know. Black History Month only has a couple of weeks left, but you know what? It's, it's never too late to sorry. Okay, here is what we are doing. We have this paper here. It is full of names of people that are on this website that have helped our community from all around the world. So we will close our eyes and we will pick one. And whatever we pick, we will have to go and read about them and, uh, and learn about what they did. Yeah, because... Those people I don't really know because you know they're from other countries and stuff, or like queens, you know. I'm not big. I haven't really known a lot about like different ancient queens from like not cartoons. Yeah, same here. All right. So who wants to go first? Um, you can quack. Okay. Close my eyes. <clears throat> Rebecca Crumpler. Okay. Let oh. Maya. Sorry, I just had to get my jacket. Okay, get it quickly. All right. Okay. Let's let's pull her name up on the website and see if we can find her. Oh, there she is. All right, let's read about her. Rebecca Lee Crumper was the first black woman in the United States to earn a medical degree. She was born free from Delaware and studied it. At, hold on, let, let me get a little closer. You know, just so I can see you. Pull me up closer. Say so New York England Female Medical College. She founded a medical practice in Boston for poor women and children. She also wrote the book of medical dis disorders. This this resources. This forces. I'm gonna do something. I want this to be bigger. It's easier to read, you know. Oh, no, not that big, not that big. Okay, not that big, not that big. Maybe like go down once. Once, go down. There we go. That way you can still see us, but you can still see it. Um, which was a manual on medication care for spit. I suck at this word. Certain women and for ch and that and children. Currently, the United States has the highest material and in infant morality related to the Western world. A disapproved amount of these deaths, black women and children. Now more than ever, we need Rebecca Lee's crumble example to raise a medical prof bleh, professional for our community. Wonderful. Oh, I, I did the wrong. No, 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 no. Ah, there she is. This is this is the picture of her. This is Rebecca Lee Crump there. So we'll mark her name off the list. Now, we're not going to be able to get to all of these. Probably not. Okay. It so, is... whoever's turn is, they'll read, okay? Okay. It is my turn now. Beep, boop, ba, 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 beep, beep, boop, ba, ba, ba. Arturo Schomburg. All right. Let's see who this person is. Move the paper out of the way. Arturo. Maybe. Hang on. Um, oh. Oh, there okay, he is. Here we go. Okay, so it says here, Arturo Schromberg was a leader of the Harlem Renaissance. He advocated for the advancement of black people across the globe, and he spent years chronicling their achievements. He created the, Sch the Schrom Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture in New York City which held a collection of slave narratives, art, literature, and other historical archives from around the globe. Schomburg was an Afro-Puerto Rican who advocated for the country's independence. He was also a founding member of Las Dos Antillas, a group that recognized the common political struggles of Cuba and Puerto Rico. Okay, and Mark is new off the list. So now we know about two people that I've never heard before. All right, my turn. Quacky pack, quacky pack, quacky pack. Um. Mm. Portia. Portia White. Portia White. Let's find her name. 
Portia. Oh, there she is. Gotta love, gotta love the, gotta love the search bar. Okay, let's go down so I can see it. See the words, you know. Hello, random man. I don't need you right now. Portra, did I pronounce it? Close enough. Portra Wyo is an Afro commit commit <laughs> Canadian operatic control. Why are there so many hard words? Who made an eternal singing sensation? She was born in Nova Scotia to a mother Nova who Scotia. Scotia to a mother who descendants were black loyalists and who parental grandparents had been slaves in Virginia before moving to Canada. She began her singing career in her church choir and singing opera by the age of eight. She dreamed of becoming a professional singer and walked ten miles per week for the lessons. Portia? Porta? Portia. Portia would sing her father's Christian radio program, give small concerts, and it would be the te- it would become a teacher eventually. At the age of three, she made her fishy CD debut as professional, but she had trouble booking roles at concerts at anti black discrimination. Portra eventually rose to international fame and toured over the United States, Europe, Latin America, and Canada. Cool, she's a singer. All right, but knock her, knock her name. Yeah, okay. that's not her name. Okay, it is my turn now, and my person is. Evelyn Scott. No, no, you, oh, uh, you land on James. James. Cone. Kane. Kane. Kane or Cone? Let me find him. James. James H. Cone. Okay, it's Cone. Okay, let's look. You know what's surprised? Martin Luther King isn't on this. Or Martin Luther King Jr. He isn't on this. James H. Cone was a theo- was a theola- was a theologian from the United States. Known for his writings on black liber- liberation ther- theology. Liberation theology is a belief that writer that centuries the, the that centers the gospel message with the sufferings of the oppressed, especially peoples of color around the world. Gone understood Cone understood the gospel pipelines. Me- the gospel message of Jesus could coincide with the political movement of the 1960s, and his teachings and writings reflected this reality. He authored theological classics such as The God of the Oppressed, The Cross and the Lynching Tree, and Black Power and Black Theology, to name a few. Mm, cool. All right, I got our guy's name off, so now it is my turn. Ba da 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 boom. S. Oh jeez, Estram Hosti, hot hot hot. Estab oh Estaban Hoss. Let's let me Estaban Estab Estaban Hotes Hotes. Ah, uh, I'm 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 just, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I call it Estaban H. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Ham. <coughs> Esteban H. was born in the Dominican Republic. He was a member of an, he was a member of the framed black framed all black W W I is that two eyes I I fighter pilots. Tusky Tusky Arben. He left the Dominican Republic after two years after his mother sister ended. Ending up in New York City, little to know about interior the military, and unfortunately died at the age of twenty-six in a pay- in a plane crash. Gee, he died young. Very young indeed. That's sad. All right. Well, now we know more about Esteban H. Esteban. Did I mark him off already? Yeah, I did. Okay, short turn around one enter Ryan. Survey says. Robert, Robert Smalls. Smalls. Hmm. Never know anybody with the last name Smalls. Here oh, jeez, you have a lot to read. I oh! Might, I might have to. 
Oh. Here we go. I might have to zoom in a bit more for this one. Yeah. It's a lot of words. Oh, no, you can't see us. That's okay. You can come right here. Yeah, come over here. Yeah, that's a better view. Robert Smalls was born enslaved in North Carolina. It is rumored that his slave master's son was his father. Robert what? was shown tremendous favor compared to other slaves. Saw little hard labor and even ignored slave curfew laws while out at night with white companions. When he was a teenager, his mother demanded that he spend more time working in the fields to experience hard labor and witness slave beatings. Robert was eventually rented out for work in Charleston and spent time on the docks in varying roles. This is where he learned about sailing. During the Civil War, he worked on a Confederate ship that he eventually stole and sailed 17 people to freedom, including his family. Ooh. After... After this daring mission, Smalls, along with Frederick Douglass, convinced Abraham Lincoln to allow black men to fight for the Union. After the war, Small bought the plantation he was raised on. He also opened a school for black children and started his own newspaper. He spent nine months after the war learning to read and write in English, and he spoke fluent Gullah, taught to him by his mother. He was elected to the South Carolina House of Representatives, where he supported a bill to provide free public schools in South Carolina. He was also elected to the U.S. House of Representatives, where he served two terms. Mmm, cool. He did a lot of things. He freed black people, convinced President Le Abraham Lincoln. He opened up a school. Did I come off? Nope. Robert Smalls. Even though you might be small. You are mighty. It was sad that black people had to become slaves, though. That's sad. Very sad. I wish that never happened. Me too. All right, it's my turn. Do -do. Victoria Cruz. All right, let's see who this Victoria Cruz person is. Who she is? No, oh, no, that's wait. that's a different Victoria. Hold on. Type Victoria Cruz. I think she was near the end. Yeah, she was the last one, I think. At least on my list. That's the queen. Is this her? No. That's not her. Is this her? Nope. Victoria! We need to find you. There she is. Victoria Santa Cruz. Victoria Cruz was an afro pervert activist. Peruvian. Peruvian, sorry. A activist and artist who championed black... Can you, can you read that? Black... Per Peruvian. Peruvian identity and visibility across the world. She was a cor choreographer, poet... Composer, 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 and professor. She's credited. She's credited with spark, sparking of the reveal of Afro revival. Revival of Afro. I'm just gonna call him Afro P. Okay. Kind of want rather than try to pronounce it. Afro P. Connecting with her African. Ancestral heritage, and she was inspired by the Black American li Libertin movements of the 1960s. Her poem "Me Gerte Shinerga," because nope, became the Black Pride across into Latin America. She is the founder of the dance company Territory Territory Territory. Teatro y Danzas Negras de Perú. That, tro that toured all over the world and showcased the spirit of African and they were alive in her country. Victoria also spent time as a professor of, of theater and prejudice Carolyn Mellon University in the United States. Ooh, that's a lot of words. Hey, look, a lot of big words. this one also comes with a video. 
Let's hear it. Tenía siete años apenas. Apenas siete años. ¿Qué siete años? Ah, uh, we don't know the language of this. There are subtitles at the bottom. Will we get copyright for this? I don't think so. I mean, it is on YouTube. I think we will be fine. No llegaba cinco siquiera. Clap. Clap. De pronto unas voces en la calle me gritaron negra. Negra, 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 negra. ¿Soy acaso negra? Me dije. Sí. ¿Qué cosa es ser negra? Negra. Yo no sabía la triste verdad que aquello escondía. Negra. Y me sentí negra. Negra. Como ellos decían. Negra. Y retrocedí. Negra. Como ellos querían. Negra. Yo di mis cabellos y mis labios gruesos y miré apenada mi carne tostada y retrocedí. Negra. Y retrocedí. Negra, negra, negra. It's so weird here. Yeah, like, it's uh, <coughs> yeah, sorry, that's so weird here. Yeah, your language. I know the feeling. Negra, 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 negra. Y pasaba el tiempo, siempre amargada. Seguía llevando a mi espalda mi pesada carga. Y cómo pesaba. Me alací el cabello. Me volvé la cara. Y entre mis entrañas siempre resonaba la misma palabra. ¡Negra! 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 I think we have seen enough. Let's go ahead and move on. Yeah, if you want to see the video, check out this website. We'll put it in the description. Mm. Like, like, all I'm here is Negra over and over. I'm sure there is... I'm sure the message is very powerful, but... Yeah, it's like Martin Luther King's speech, but... It's kind of weird here that where we can't understand a lot of it. Yes. We apologize, so we apologize if our reaction came off as a bit insensitive. Yeah, we don't mean to make it, like, rude or anything. It's just that it's kind of different hearing it, you know, when we don't speak that language. But, you know, we think that, um, this is what I say. Believe there is good in the world and be the good. Exactly. Anyway, I believe it is my turn, so let's see who my person is. We'll probably do one more round for you, one more round for me, and then I think we're done. So this will be your last one. Bee boo ba 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 bee. Oh, I already picked that one. Bee boo ba 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 bee. Ah, Claudette Colvin. Claudette Cal. Claudette. Okay. C L A U D E. T D. Wait. Hold on. C A C L A U D. We will be right back. All right, we found her. Nine months before Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on the bus, fifteen-year-old Claudette Colvin would not move from hers. <laughs> When, when told to give her place to a white passenger, she replied, It's my constitutional right to sit here as much as that lady. I paid my fare. It's my constitutional right. She was removed by, from the bus by two white men and became the first person arrested in Montgomery, Alabama, for challenging bus segregation. She was arrested on various charges and spent several hours in jail. She had to face a court appearance for her courageous act and defiantly pled not guilty to every accusation against her. She was eventually placed on probation by the courts for violating segregation laws, while rarely receiving credit for her role in the civil rights movement, and often forgotten in black history. Her story is sure to inspire the young and old alike. Mm. All right. It's 
it's kind of stupid how they arrest people just because they didn't want to get other kid on the bus. I know. Like, you can't just arrest somebody for that. Back in those days, they could. Thankfully, our country has grown past that. Yes. All right, this is my last one. Oh, sorry. Gaspar Yanga. Yanga, Yanga. It's either Yanga or Yanga, I'm pretty sure. There he is. Okay. Yanga was believed to be a member of the royal family of Gabon. He was captured, sold into slavery, and brought to Mexico, where he eventually escaped his chains. He also he led other stolen Africans to liberty and established the first the first free black statement in America's highlands of Veracruz. 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 The settlement remained hidden for over thirty years, but it was eventually attacked by the Spanish. After years of bloody battles, the local government needed heeded to Yaga's terms, regulation of the free black settlements. In sixteen thirty, say San Lorenzo de los Negros de Cavo was officially recognized by the government, and the people left in peace. The settlement remains today as Veracruz religion of Mexico appropriated named Yaga. Oh, so he was royal so he's believed to be royalty. And he basically kinda of like set a rule for Mexico. Wow. Alright. I say we learned a lot today, didn't you? We definitely did. You know, it was interesting to hear about these uh famous these black people that helped change the community. Happy Black History Month. Yeah, I was about to say that. And shout out to everybody Shout out to everybody, every black person who has helped our community. We appreciate you, and that's why we have a month after you. Now, before we go, to to lighten the mood a little bit, I want to show you this story that I posted to Malachi's Instagram account. Ooh, what is it? You will see in a moment. All right, but yeah, even if... I know a lot of these we didn't get to today, but... Look at... Look at this. What does it say? It's your boy, Robot Ninja Ryan, hacking Malachi's Instagram. <laughs> and the song I chose was called Robot Rock by Daft Punk. Yeah, but don't play it. Right, because we don't want to get a copyright playing. Well, not a strike, but... Hopefully not. You know what I mean. But, yeah. But if, I know it's a lot different than my usual content, but, you know, I feel like we should have a video to celebrate all the great black Americans. Wait, would it be African Americans? Or would it be black Americans? Either well, one works. Well, it's all the way around the world, so. Everybody, you know what I mean. Everybody who helped us save our community and, like, stop slavery and all that stuff. So does this mean you're going to do a Valentine's Day special as well? Uh, maybe. You will think about it. Yeah, but I wanted, but I wanted to do this, you know, because it's a little more important than Valentine's Day. True. All right, well, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to Quack the Cool Ducks to be better than Quack Pack, the coolest pack on Earth. And remember, when this channel hits 70 subscribers, Quack will bake the official Quack Pack cookies. Yes. Do I know how to make professional cookies? No. Will I look up a recipe? Probably. Will it be perfect? No. I can already tell you that. I have barely any space for baking, so. But we will find a way. Just yeah. like just like the just like all of the people on this website. Yeah. If you want to read about the rest of them, we will leave a link in the description below. Yeah, you the website and also if you want to continue uh if you want to see more of Victoria Cruz's speech. Then just go down straight, click on the website, go down straight to the bottom, and there will be the video. But until then, we will see you next time. Bam, bam, psh, bam, 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 psh, bam, 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 psh. Quite the cool duck! Bam, bam, psh, bam, bam, psh, bam, 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 psh. Bam, 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 psh. Quite the cool duck! Bye, guys! Goodbye, friends.